this is one of sport's great proving grounds, a gateway to glory where heroes are made. Absolutely first class. 28 tournaments spanning 17 countries. It's a 10-month campaign to determine the very brightest prospects in golf. He is right into this. Brilliant. That could just have sealed his promotion. What a way to do it. Along the way, a chance for the class of 2022 to expand horizons and sample life on tour. Did you get that? You gotta make greens interesting. I just always bring my gardener. Finish the season in the top 20 on the road to Mallorca rankings and secure a golden ticket to the DP World Tour. That's the dream shared by all who compete on the Challenge Tour. Over the course of our season, the Challenge Tour pays visit to venues both obscure and remote. Be that the Bushveld of Limpopo, the backwaters of Brno, or the lower foothills of Adamstahl in Austria. Every now and then, though, we hit the mainstream, and such is the case this week, as event 17 of 28 on the road to Mallorca brings us to Dublin in Ireland. Its prestigious K-Club serves as backdrop to the Irish Challenge. And as venues go, this one is special. It's no stranger to top flight competition either. The echoes of Ryder Cup glory still reverberate here. In short, it's a genuine treat for our boys to walk in those famous footsteps. It's not often where you play in a course where it's held a Ryder Cup and it's just very special, very special place for, for European golf. And so like my first time in this, uh, at this club and I just, it's just like a, it's a privilege to be here this week. Hopefully it's another good week for me. You know, everybody's just so friendly and uh, it's just such a nice place. And then the K Club, like it's an amazing property. Um, the two courses are just, they're unbelievable. So much history with the European Open and the Ryder Cup and beautiful hotel. So, I mean, you know, it doesn't get much better. Indeed, all Challenge Tour events are equal, but some just feel a little more equal than others. That said, the target is the same this week as any other. Play well or win, and those valuable Road to Mallorca ranking points will be yours. As it stands, these are the main men in position to graduate come season's end, a list led by Jens Dantorp. The further down the list you look, though, the more precarious the position. The likes of Nathan Kimsey and Alex Knapper are just a few good results from safety, but Javier Science and Daniel Hillier, among others, will certainly be looking over their shoulders. Anyway, down to business, the course and surroundings are a treat to behold, and all set fair to stage the thrills and spills of our Irish challenge. And so, anticipation was high as the players were introduced early on Thursday morning. On the tee from Spain, Manuel Morugan. Spanish player gets us underway at the Palmer South course at the K Club. Beautiful looking sky this morning in Ireland. Joel Gearback cruising, three birdies and an eagle in his first six holes. His tee shot on its way at the par three eighth. Well, fired straight at the flagstick. Another great look to pick up a shot. Stephen Tyley, winner on the Challenge Tour back in 2019. He's level par to this point. Oh, well, he's one under now, rattles it in off of the flagstick. A second birdie of the day for the Englishman. Yeah, well worth a thumbs up, that one. Gearback, interesting practice stroke, directly over the top of the ball. And a 29-year-old Swiss gets to six under par. Just see the head of John Murphy there. This is third shot into the tenth. And that will 
be a, another good chance for Birdie, the man who played in the Walker Cup just last May. Gary Stout, seven under par. Just dropped a shot on the previous hole, though. Has he got it back? Oh, well, it's done everything but drop. We just have to settle for the simplest of tappings to stay at seven under. Now, Murphy, yet to record a top ten this season. But that goes in for a fifth birdie in ten holes for the man on home soil. Well, low scoring was the order of the day. More than a third of the field posting red numbers in round one. Connor Purcell led the local charge, but everyone chasing Joel Gerbach after a new course record 64. Golf is a big deal in Ireland. That's no secret. The Emerald Isle boasts several of the world's most highly regarded courses, and of course, they produced no shortage of top talent. But the nation's most popular pastime, it certainly is not. Golf is massive in Ireland. You know, we have absolute legends of the game here. Rory McIlroy, Podrick Harrington, Shane Lowry. But it's definitely probably not as big as the racing industry. You know, it goes back hundreds of years. Luckily, today we here at the lovely Irish National Stud. You know, we're not too far from golf sales, Tattersalls here, and even the Curra is just across the road there as well. Which we're very blessed to have all these places in Ireland. Not, not interested at all, are they? No. <laughs> Seeing all this here at the National Stud um, has put a real insight to, into even though I've not been to a race. So just to kind of see how, how they all do it and prepare, which is really good. Dad, I think this is where I'm going to retire, you know that? I love being able to, to go racing and switch off and get away from the golf and it's um, that's a really nice aspect I enjoy of it, and obviously having the odd bet here and there. Bit of fun, should be exciting. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Lovely. And they're coming up. The, oh, sorry, okay, one sec. Can I start, can I start that again? <laughs> yes, side and they race to the line, and the mare's beginning to get up, and they come to the line. She's made it, the runners won it! <laughs> you weren't expecting that out of me, were you? <laughs> Oh, I got a bit carried away there, lads. Uh, <laughs> Any time with a few of the lads are at the, the races, I'd, I'd be messing, you know, just taking the commentary off. So that's why I got a bit carried away in there. So I did. <laughs> You've got an act for it anyway. Uh, I don't know about, about that. My odds this week. I played nicely last week, so I feel like my game is good, but... Oh, 66 to 1, so... <laughs> I've been playing pretty well. Like, I've been up put myself in contention the last two or three weeks and, and uh, but just not quite getting the job done but if I can keep it going I don't know I'd maybe say 30, 40, 30 to oh, 1 nice. okay, yeah, okay. Maybe, I don't know. we'll Try. see how that is we'll Sunday see how, <laughs> no, we will, yeah. and the very best of luck boys hopefully they'll be showing their pedigree on the golf course in the days to come Meanwhile, back at the K Club come Friday morning, and we're once again under starter's orders. Joel Gerbach ahead by a nose through 18 holes, of course, but the chasing pack in full flight as we rejoin proceedings. Kit Alexander once again calling them home. John Murphy opened with a 66, and he's picked up three more shots already today. Starting on the 10th, and he loves that. Oh, and that's why. Go on. Very nearly an ace for the Irishman. Connor Purcell. Level par on the front nine, but he's really got things going on this back nine. Great bunker skills, and he'll have that to post 11 under par in the clubhouse. Tricky one for Jamie Rutherford here. It's quick and coming out of that apron grass. Oh, he's judged that so well. Made the cut in the open a couple of weeks ago at St Andrews and moves along to eight under par here. 
Now Purcell to tidy up and be the first to post 11 under par. He is inside the clubhouse and looking good going into the second half of this tournament. Murphy with a lengthy par putt here. Remember, he started on 10, so this is final hole. Barney holds an absolute beauty to stay at 11 under par. Really big for the momentum heading into the weekend. Todd Clements, well, they're queuing up this to get to 11 under par as well. Oh, he does pause it in the side door. Having a good season at 18th in the road to Mallorca standings, the Englishman. Craig Ross, another player opened with a 66, nine under par. Started on the 10th and in a little bit of trouble here. Oh, around the world and in, no trouble whatsoever. Craig Ross gets to double digits. And now Todd Clements to move to 13 under for a two-shot cushion at the top. A superb couple of days' work for the Englishman. Yes, Todd Clements with a little daylight to the rest going into the weekend at the K Club. Hot on his heels, though, with the Irish duo of Murphy and Purcell, with Harry Ellis a further shot back. After the break, it's sport, but not as we know it. Okay. Don't be afraid to hit through it. He's on a golf course right now. And we'll see whether Todd Clements can hold his nerve at the Irish Challenge. All that and more when we come back. Welcome back to the Challenge Tour and to Ireland, where the quest for promotion to the DP World Tour continues. Things are well poised after two days of competition, with Todd Clements leading the way. History favours the Europeans here, remember? The home continent triumphant on these greens, back at the 2006 Ryder Cup. It's massive. Uh, we all love coming here. They've presented the place really well. Um, it's kind of, it's becoming the home of Irish golf again. Um, everyone talks about it and yeah, it's just a great place to be. Well through 36 holes here, the Irish Challenge look to be heading into European hands too. Todd Clements leading the way into the weekend as we rejoin our commentator, Kit Alexander. A couple of pars to start with for Murphy today. The third, the part five, a great opportunity, but he is playing his third from the rough. He's managed to judge that well and hold the back edge of the green going straight at the pin though. A lot chillier, a bit of rain coming down this morning and Clements is having a bit of a battle here early on. Does manage to save the par though on the third, so just about weathering the early storm. Murphy playing alongside him to move to 12 under par. Yeah, it's a good up and down from the rough there for his birdie on the right hand side of the third. Lead is down to just one. Well, Gary Hurley, a bit of a roller coaster for him. An eagle, four birdies, and three bogeys to this point. Great approach, though. And a really good chance for a fifth birdie of the day. That's a lovely birdie for Todd Clements, and he moves to 14 under par. Hurley playing his trade on the Alps Tour this season. On his way to a really good finish in his first Challenge Tour appearance of the year on home soil. Now Clements for a six-shot lead. Oh, huge amount of break as it slides right across the face. So no closing birdie for Clements. But he will tap in for par, and that's a five-shot lead for the 25-year-old going into the final round. 
So confirmation three rounds in, it's Clements well clear at the top. There's plenty of local interest, Irish eyes on Gary Hurley and John Murphy, but they'll all have to go some to reel in our runaway leader. That this week has been so well supported should come as no surprise. Ireland is, after all, a country you could safely describe as sports mad. We've already seen their love of horse racing, but they have a few sporting passions of their very own too. And few get the pulses racing round these parts, like hurling. My parents are both from the south of Ireland, from Cork and Kerry. They, uh, they moved to Switzerland for a year and they kind of fell in love with it there and they decided to stay. So obviously I played for Switzerland, I was born there, but um, family is very, very Irish. As you can see, probably from, uh, from the hair colour. Coming from an Irish family, it's just um, it's just what happens when you're young. You're just uh, you're just tossed into into what sport uh, you can do. My dad used to play uh, uh, at junior level a lot, and he uh, he tried to get us going on it when we were younger. And it was just it was actually so hard that we uh, we dropped it quickly to take on uh, funny enough golf, which is probably the second hardest sport to play. That's one of the reasons why I was so excited to come here today. It's just because it's. Uh, it runs in the family and it's, uh, it's good to get a feel of playing with like a, a great player like, like Paul and get a feel for what the game is about and like how, uh, how good you actually have to be to play it. All right, well, how's it going Roberts. Paul? How are you? Good, this is the Slitter isn't it? This is the Slitter, yeah, it is. Right. Yeah. So, um, left you're below right isn't it? Left, That's... yeah, you're right handed so yeah, yeah. Um, opposite to the golf grip. Yeah. Okay. All right, um, hope this doesn't mess me up for the week now. <laughs> I hope not, I hope not. <laughs> Okay. Don't be afraid to hit through it. Okay. Yeah. You sound like a golf coach right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. I learned that I, uh, I'm no good at it and that I should probably stick to the golf. It's got duff written all over it. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Much better. Yeah. It's actually it's not much uh, much different to the to the golf really in in just how. Um, how you got to really be ball focused and just so through the hitting zone, just making sure that you're uh, you're committing to whatever you want to do, smashing it as hard as you can, and then finding it and probably going from there. Oh, there oh. we are now! Oh. Yeah, you can probably take the, the man out of Ireland, but you can't take much of the Irish out of the out of the man just playing the game. And um, even as complicated as game is, as Hurley is, I can feel the Irish in it, and I can feel the Irish coming out in me when I'm playing it. And uh, there's a lot of Ireland in me. And I'll be. I'll hopefully, it'll come out when I'm when I'm playing at the K Club. Not bad. Brilliant. Thanks for having me, Paul. Thanks very much. Pleasure. Best of luck the weekend. Cheers. Lovely stuff. But possibly don't give up that day job just yet. Sadly, Roberts wasn't in contention for the top honours back at the K Club, but it was full steam ahead for the leading contenders at the Irish Challenge. Todd Clements was taking a commanding five-shot lead into the final round, remember, with Irish hopefuls John Murphy and Gary Hurley leading the chase. Watching the drama unfold, Kit Alexander. It's been a lightning start for Tom McKibben today. Birdies at two, three and four. Oh, sneaks it in the right edge and that's a fourth in a row to move to 11 under par for the teenager. Harry Ellis, the 2017 amateur champion, enjoying a good final round as well. And he gets into double digits with a second pickup of the day. Clements, the man with the handsome overnight lead, this for a birdie to move to 17 under par. Oh, I don't think he thought it was reaching, but in it goes. Steady stuff from him. Doing exactly what he needs to do. Hurley. He goes to 12 under par. Giving the home fans plenty to cheer. Second shot at the 14th for the leader, Clements. He's in complete control of this tournament. Well, that needs to spin a lot. It is, catches the slope. Oh, it's in! What a two for Todd Clements. And he is absolutely cruising to this Irish Challenge title now. 
and in some style. Great sportsmanship there. The high five from John Murphy, Purcell. And a quiet final round, but something to cheer on the 18th as he posts nine under par with that final birdie. All eyes on this man, though, to finish up with a par. It will be a drop shot, but no matter for Todd Clements. He's been in cruise control all day and a hugely worthy winner of the 2022 Irish Challenge. So a dominant display from Todd Clements, powering to a six-shot victory. Tom McKibben posted the joint low round of the day to see Solo second. First round leader Joel Gerbach in the end securing a top five finish alongside last week's winner Alejandro Del Rey. From England, Todd Clements. Surreal really, can't really put into words how I feel. It's been uh, an unbelievable four days, I've been pushed a wire really. It doesn't quite look that, but it's, um, yeah, it was a great week and just things clicked on the, on the four days and yeah, I got over the line, so I'm absolutely delighted. I'm trying to strive to be the best player I can be and hopefully I, you know, have a longevity in the game. Um, obviously playing against the best players uh, week in, week out will be incredible and um, pushing myself to the limit which is where I want to be and, uh, you know, see when my game holds up. So, very well done. Lifting the prize in Ireland, England's Todd Clements. So, let's take a look and see what impact this week's event has had on the road to Mallorca rankings. Daniel Hillier's making progress and a very good week for Tom McKibben, that solo second place, propelling him up 15 spots into 15th place while Nathan Kims is holding on grimly to his 11th position. All of those players are knocking on the door of our top 10, where Alejandro Del Rey continues to play a prominent role in proceedings. He's up to seventh now. And with that win at the K-Club, Todd Clements is looking A-OK -okay and up into fourth. Above him, Richie, Hunderbol and Jens Dantorp still leading the way. And with that, our time in Ireland comes to a close. But what a week it's been. We've hurled, we've raced. There's been no shortage of golf too, with plenty to admire and celebrate. From here, the class of 2022 now embark on a four-week Scandinavian swing with a run of events in Finland, Denmark and Sweden. It's a stretch that will have plenty of bearing on the road to Mallorca rankings as we continue our march towards the season-ending grand final, where for our leading lights, that prized promotion to the DP World Tour awaits.